Welcome back, folks. Peoples, maybe. Aliens, who knows? To Batman, the Telltale series. Now, this is uh, part two of episode one, season one. Play Future Jam decided to. I mean, Future Jam decided to. Uh, skip some of that because there was a bunch of silence because it took forever to load. Dun 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 Batman! Who's a hero that I want to save? Teen Batman. I am extremely in a daze. Batman. Stop! the comics a while ago. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Yeah. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Yeah. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Hey, don't make Say hi, me. Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up, and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Yeah. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave I'd you alone. I'd like to make an entrance. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to I help make Gotham this drink. Okay, you a place hold for on. families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, I for the record, heavy. I have not been since before law school. I like a new face all right, for Gotham. All right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how yeah. rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we gotta shake things up. We can start with a few hands, buddy. Mr. Wayne, I'd like no, to introduce like, you to yeah. Bob and Regina okay. Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. 
And we trust someone like you to lead we'll this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Yeah. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. <laughs> Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Hopefully well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Yeah. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. Not really. I want my money. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to but Thomas like and Arkham Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never like be repeated. Like After Arkham all your parents much. did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age yeah. must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. Thanks for your And I'm sure you don't either. Thank you. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. Yeah. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. We're gonna get him. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Keep it Tonight off is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Yeah. How am you I should doing? enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? Well, <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... Cut myself oh, shaving. This? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is what? the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who Whoa, loves this city. My mic is going out. Excuse us, Miss Van. Mic, my microphone. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls yeah. enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. Gotta have for all of necessary us. evil. 
Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I'm trusting you, Harvey. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Yeah. Play nice. Well, I'm Batman. I'll probably be. You know, I've been in the market people. for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Not for sale. Other day core offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, yeah, no class. Course. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. <laughs> You're a respectable man, I hear. Yeah, shake his hand. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is gonna sell me his house. Uh-uh. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts Harvey to keep comes you busy me. for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. Yeah. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? <laughs> I don't like him. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. The man talks too much. Chaps my Harvey face only. with words. I got them all Unlike better. most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying yeah. to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I agree with that, though. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Not chalk that for you. To being a gracious host. Okay, imagine this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. I get along with everyone. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. I don't like you. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Oh. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. I don't like you. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. 
Yeah. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Batman. I don't find no ghosts. Martin McDonald. Dig that cap. Wait, is that Daddy Clap Cap one? It's me. Oh. <gasps> That's cool. That's pretty neat. Good job, Batman. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Enterprises. My parents. Dad was a physician and mom was a philanthropologist. Yeah, thanks for the help. The less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expenses. The vast resources have been in this city and since it's been in a tent, didn't rally by a man known as Joe Chill, deceased. I don't happen to Wayne family, but faithful, patient, ever helpful. Alfred has been part of my family my whole life. He's raised me when my parents set one minute and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's my butler, my confident, my confidence, and my most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightmare activities, but they're still. But he's still there to patch me up when I need it. What a good guy. Oh, he didn't. Gotham District Attorney, mayoral candidate, a new fun and best Texas attorney in Gotham the scenes he is, his political, politic, political, his politic, <laughs> ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become a, he's got so many great ideas for how to save the city, I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to him there, he's too easily swayed by another, with power, regardless of their might be mortality. Morality. Who's this creepy looking? Mayor of God. He's I don't I would not go for him. Exhibit A he in what's wrong with the city. He should have been thrown out of the office years ago, but he still got his hands wrapped around Gotham government in the death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make it make any any of it stick. He's rotten to the corn. One day the city won't realize it. Harvey Harvey's out there doing this his best and hopefully this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Cat 
New equipment on scene tried several recent break ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew all about it. <sighs> oh, oh, the penguin. I'm stealing illegal boxing matches and sleeping stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England, and they are past the age. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The past few decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet and strange nickname, the Penguin. What happened to you, Oz? What did happen to you? He's a good... He's a good, by the book, cop in the department that doesn't trust Batman. He recently tapped it to, tapped it to the leader, leader major crime force and an impressive promotion. So he's doing something like, I think he could be trustworthy and a reliable source of info, info, but I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risks on unnecessary I'm not saying this on the street. That's fine. I'll take the risk. To take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians. Nikki Vale. One of the Gotham's most ambitious and content reporters. Her, I've read her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while. Covered all kinds of beats. Someone like her that has kind of access that would kill her. I'll kill her. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. Skyline's probably right now. I can do that. I had a fuck old crime family. The worst kind of gangster. One who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, violent fraud. I could haul him in jail, but he'd walk. Next day, I could shut down an operation and two would pop up in his place. His empire is vast and multi layered, finding hard and invisible evidence is quite a Why not keep going up? Gotham City, population 10 million. The city is a li living creature. It's always growing outward and upward. And people who live here are survivors. They have to be, and they deserve better than the corruption that infests this place. Lackham Siren established in 1921. Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital. For now, outdated. In every way, a building is falling apart, equipment is antiquated, and staff methodologies leave much to be desired. When Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Yeah, I keep going out. Wayne Enterprise was established in 1870, multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manu uh, manufacturing and finance I inherited. Them. A majority stake from my father, but I'm not involved in day to day operations. However, the RD resources have been helpful in pursuing my private interests. Wait, did I miss anything? I don't want to miss anything. Nope. Okay, I'm saying over here. I got some gadgets and stuff. Oh, I don't want to go down here. I want to go back up there. Maybe she'll check that out. That's pretty neat. Examine that. That's pretty neat, guys. That's the stuff.
Uh, we didn't. It's <laughs> a weird looking picture of him, though. Look at that data point. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. Okay. It's a pretty big computer. Yes, I am. Most promising young politicians. Most promising young politicians. You're now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at okay. the Otisburg Processing Center. Well, I think this is a good stopping point. When we get back, we can find out what's on this data drive. We can find out what's what's over here, what's over here. How, the gadgets table, which is pretty... Actually, let's just look at that now. I'm very interested. Spare grapple gun. Heck yeah. Yeah, Catwoman took it, and I don't like that. Cause you know what? It's really cool, and I like it. And they took well, the it. The test run at the mayor's office was a success. Right, what's this? Yeah. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. To be honest, he is very ineffective. But you know what? He has a Batman, so I'm not gonna deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. Yeah. So one more thing. Trace the newest what? addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Oh, that's really neat. Okay, so when we come back, we're going to be looking at the data drive. We're going to stick it in the data port, probably. Data, data, what's, what's no difference, basically. Same word, probably. I don't know.